currently on exhibition at Cape Breton University's main gallery. It's a selection of paintings and sculptural works by Joseph Reed and Maria Sudworth of Dominion. This exhibition looks at relationships with community, with family, with nature, and centrally with the spiritual. Joseph and Marina are family. Joseph's brother and Marina's husband was the late Lorne Reed, and Lorne Reed was a well-known artist and the co-founder of the No Social Folk Art Festival. I had a chance to walk with Joseph through the exhibition this morning, and he took me to the painting that he found after his brother passed away. The grief initially started, it was one early morning at five to five in the morning and uh, my brother passed on and he died within my arms and uh, he had a three month battle with uh, pancreatic cancer and I was living in the, uh, in the house at the time, my parents were taking care of him and I saw him fade away slowly and uh, the painting here represents, he was, he was very, very uh, be devoted to uh, his belief in Jesus Christ. So this painting was in your house for 30 years? I uh, 34 years. Uh, I, I went into the back room with this painting. Pardon me, I went in searching through the terrain in the back room. Uh, the, the painting had cobwebs all over it, and it was still had dust and that upon it. I dare not, I did not take a cloth or anything whatsoever to disminish the cobwebs, dust particles. I painted over with the cobwebs, with the dust as it was. I truly did not do anything else, but I wanted to, to remain sacred and as it was, in the house for all those years and I took it out I placed it in the kitchen by the kitchen stove and when people would come into the house the first thing they would acknowledge that the presence of something of religious value and that of being of Jesus Christ was present in our house and is still present there today there's more to this painting than what I, I, I'm willing to express uh, because uh, it has something personal. Uh, but, but today, I'm delighted, and I'm sure Lauren would be exhilarated with, with glory and excitement to see his painting here at the Cape Breton University Art Gallery, where it should have been many years ago. So we start here. Are there other paintings that, that, that talk about your journey or that are particularly um, central to, to what you're feeling right now? Uh, I, I want to stop here and I want you to look at, uh, this is uh, not a painting, but a sculpture. Now this sculpture, uh, which I refer to as a story tree, was a piece of work that my brother carved with a chainsaw. Now, that was 30 some years ago. There's a date on the bottom, I believe it's 89. Um, there was two pieces, and there, there was two pieces of this that I purchased from him, and it's funny to look back and to think he all he wanted was $200, I think, to get a radiator or something for his car, and he gave me two pieces that I had placed, but they were not painted. They were just in the form of the carving from a tree that was in my grandmother's yard. So we have one piece here. This was from a tree that originated my grandmother's yard. And as we could see, I took over and I painted. And I, this was out of my hands for 30 years. It remained in the business which I have operated at one time. And it was there. And I went to my other brother and I said, can I have my sculpture back that Lauren made? And I started to paint it up. And when I started painting it, I ended up seeing the fish, which were a sign of plenty, a sign of goodness, a sign of, of it's a brilliant, brilliant, 
piece of folk art. And I'm proud that I could place myself with my brother, and this is the result. And, and uh, what can I say? I, I really uh, tell people and would like to say to people, if you come to the gallery, the beauty of it all, uh, it's important to, to look at each piece, but and it's a celebration of, of that. What do you call the piece? Well, uh, some people are quick to, to say a uh, totem pole. I don't like to say totem pole. I, let's consider it as a story tree because uh, a, a totem pole is sacred to indigenous persons and I don't want to take that away from So it's a story tree that replicates that of a totem pole of indigenous welcomingness and heritage and a sense of collectiveness and, and, and a, a warm, special time in our life. Has your work always woven between the, the spiritual and, and the temporal? spiritual it, i must say spiritual there hasn't been a piece that i've haven't that hasn't been created under spiritual means i mean it's a, it's been an emotional constant emotional draining of 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 of, of my fear of my success afraid of failure scared of success and, and and the beauty of it all here was conquering that 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 uh, mountain that i had to come to the peak of, of where i to celebrate who i am instead of running away from myself like i have done my whole entire life. Are there other pieces that that you would like people to to focus on when they come to this exhibition? I want to bring you to something that's very, very beautiful. Um, this is uh, a sunflower on canvas, and it's done by Marina Sudworth, and of course Marina is like a sister to mine, we live in the same house, and we journeyed down the pathway uh, of many years of bereavement, and, and the, the, the painting here is a beautiful sunflower, and it's one of her last paintings that she made, and it was in 2021, and after the departing of my brother, which her was her companion, Lexter, she created this piece to celebrate, um, oh, I guess, her acceptance of his passing. And she put the bright sunflower there because Lexter loved sunflowers and he loved her paintings. And I, I, I want people to, to come to the gallery to see paintings like this of Marina's that, that have essence. And Marina Sudworth, she's an artist of unique uh, means. She's not like I. I'm more emotional and uh, misunderstood. A Sudworth is more simplistic and she has a harmonious way of, of, of placing paint on whether it be canvas or any other medium and she depicts uh, her, her paintings depict landscapes of Cape Breton Island and both uh, uh, both of Cape Breton Island and that of her homeland and Grand Falls Newfoundland so and, and she has a whimsical style to her and, 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 and I, I, want, I want to show you something down here at, at Marina I always took the bad and made it into the good. I carried the bad with me or the negative. You see here, when people come into the gallery, there's a wonderful little painting here by Marina. And on the painting it says, the painting here by Marina Sudworth was done April 2nd of 2020, and you see a beautiful little capture of the coronavirus can't be beat if we stay within our own yards. And it's so 
so true. But uh, on the right side, you see uh, a couple of characters there in Halloween costumes uh, saying that uh, the, the youth could, could not understand the, the, the impact of coronas, and they were still innocent and wanting to vote for Halloween. But uh, she placed them within the painting, and uh, it, it's it's it's. Uh, and there's birds, there's, I see birds, all little birds all through the place, little flowers. And, like she's, she's put little spark, little <laughs> touches of life in this very, it's very tiny. It's not even six inches by maybe six by. That's what I mean about Marina. And whether it's a big piece or a small piece, she always includes nature and, and little birds, songbirds, melodies that uh, and she loves, she feeds the birds, she fed the birds uh, during the time she, you're allowed to feed birds and uh, she loved nature and she, she, uh, she, she's a very warm, warm person and nature is close to her heart and uh, this is uh, that uh, shows both nature and the climate uh, of the time. When you started with your practice, did you start with uh, oil and and um, and pieces, or what? What? Where? Because I know you've done a lot of different sort of artistic um, endeavors over your over your life. But when you came to visual art, what was your first foray into that? Color greatest representations of color would be this painting down here where we see an abstract on a wooden tabletop and it's deep, rich, and it's layers upon layers of coloring to come up with a beautiful abstract of such positive energy and hope and, 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 and this is a celebration and an important piece within the gallery that shines through and really represents artist Joseph Reed from the most happiest time of application of paint and covering up all the pain and the hurts. And one has to remember, you know, uh, being a man of difference and we all are different so i'm too hard on myself sometimes to accept my difference and to allow myself to set myself free the beauty of it all has been a celebration of coming out and experiencing it's time in my life to, to say joe celebrate your life instead of leaving a sad life this painting here dominant decorative wonderful piece and I'm certain uh, those who come to uh, uh, to uh, the Cape Breton University will enjoy this piece. The ex